Alrighty, hello and welcome to this guide on the loot filter that has been added to the last Epoch Tools. So, for uh, for quite a long time, ever since loot filter had been added, there had been a problem. The problem was that the loot filter, while definitely less complicated than Path of Exiles, was still pretty complicated. There's still a lot going on there. It can be pretty overwhelming, especially for new players to try and figure out how to make a loot filter that works and does the things that they want them to do. So what a lot of new players would do is they would go to build makers like myself and play their builds and be like, hey, can you give me a loot filter? Which for the most part works, but there's a, a problem with that too, in that most of us who've been playing the game for a long time and making build guides, we tend to, uh, to change our loot filters over time as we're playing, and they can be oftentimes a lot stricter than maybe a new player would want or would be good for them because they may be missing a lot of loot that's actually good for their build at a certain time. And uh, going back and forth and changing our filters can be pretty, um, pretty time consuming. And on top of that, if we're all using different loot filters, there's like no, there's no cohesion between us. So like they're using a board man's build and you're using his build, uh, his uh, loot filter. And then you go to mine and mine's a totally different loot filter. And so it's really hard to keep track of what you're doing when the loot filter keeps changing. Bring in Last Epoch Tools new loot filter system. So we're gonna really quickly go through how to use the loot filter system that's in Last Epoch Tools, which you can now be used with any build, any build guide. Well, I do this as long as they use Last Epoch Tools Planner, which pretty much everybody does. And I'll show you a few ways where you can actually tweak the filter as you're playing um, to fit your needs as you're going. But this is gonna be really basic on purpose so that like 90% of the players will um, be able to use it easily and, um, and benefit from it in a way that prevents them from having to necessarily make their own filter or use someone's that's gonna confuse them. Okay, let's start with how to actually make a loot filter. So I've got up a Last Epoch Tools Planner for one of the build guides I've made. This patch, this is for the uh, the Void Knight um, Warpath build. This will work with any build and all you need, and you can do this with your own builds too, all you have to do is have set up your gear and your idols. And then the loot filter will actually work off of the gear and idols that you put in there to create a filter that tries to find the things that fit what you're looking for. So once you've got your planner all set up, and there are plenty of guys out there on how to use the planner if you're looking for that, but I'm gonna assume that you you know how to do that or you're using someone else's planner so it's already there for you. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go click this button over here, loot filter for this build, click that. And it's gonna bring up this screen which is going to um, give you some options to um, kind of streamline or um, fine tune your loot filter. There's not a whole lot of options right now so it's hard to get like too confused there are some things in here that are confusing i'm going to show you a way to just like circumvent and not worry about so let's start with uh, what it's doing so the loop filter is going to um color code gear and it's got like early game uh, until level 10 early game mid game early end game mid end game late end, end game and all it's doing is the different color codes are um are filtering out for these specific uh um things on the items like late end game at least three fixes with 12 plus total tiers mid -game, in game at least three affixes with a plus total tier so it's looking for the affixes that you are asking for from your planner and uh, then it's color coding them based upon how good it thinks that particular item would be for your build like uh you know the early game stuff might just not be very good for you when you're level 90 because it doesn't have enough um restrictions on it that's fine we'll i'll show you how to work with that in a bit but that's what you're going to be doing this just it's going to filter anything that doesn't you know fit the affixes that you're looking for and then it's going to color code it based upon how you know, overall value, valuable it thinks it's going to be for you at different stages in the game. Okay. Uh, you can also change the strictness, which um, you have regular strict. So this affects the subtypes. Subtypes are like the, um, the winged helmet here is a subtype of the helmet. So if you do the strictness one, you will get uh, more strict where it only selects uh, certain item subtypes. I think it only selects the one that you've chosen, but I haven't messed it so much. I suggest at least in your first one, just go with regular. You will see all of the base types, which can be a little annoying. Some of the base types might not be very good for you, but um, it will prevent you from being way too strict. I also do suggest that you click add resist to fixes to all item slots, because especially as a newer player or a player who's not like super hardcore on their planner, or even if you're using someone else's where they plan stuff out in a particular fashion. Um, for example, like if I've got where I have the chronic resist here and I've got physical resist here, 
Like, there's no reason why I can't get a physical resist one here and a chronic here. It's just how I've made the planner to do those particular things. And so by clicking that all resist thing, you should be able to get necrotic here and physical here. So I do recommend clicking that so that you can get the resistance to show up. This will show you more gear overall. You'll have to look at more stuff, um, but I think it'll be worth it for most players trying to cap their resistances, especially early on, to, uh, to have that. Okay, from there, and there was higher than gloves will make a difference. Yeah, but for newer players, it's not a big deal. Um, for there, we're going to provide a, a filter name. So let's just call this... Um, Let's call this Warpath Test Filter. Okay, and from there, now I've got that made. I'm just gonna download it. That's downloading in the background. We're gonna keep it, yeah. And then we're just gonna pull up, I'm just gonna pull up uh, on, over on this other screen. I'm just gonna look at my download folder where it is. Right, so it's gonna download to your download folder, it's just like any other download. And then we're gonna go into the actual loot filter system itself, so Shift F. And easy way to get that filter in without like worrying about because like if you looked at um, the screen here, it's got like all this stuff like hey, find your find it here, find it here. Don't worry about that. You don't need to do that at all. Just go shift F. You can either go export filter or you can press the plus button and go um, open filter folder. They both do the same exact thing. We open the filter folder. Open up on the other screen. Here it is with all my filters. Now I just take the one that I had downloaded. And I drag it over into there. Boom. Now I have it. Easy as can be. You don't have to look for the folder or anything. It's it's already found for you. You just pull it into there and you can get out of here. And then it's immediately in your um your your fluid filter um system. Let's see. We got Warpath test filter right there. Boom. There it is. Just like that. Okay. In the actual filter, just a couple of quick tips. Nothing crazy. So some of these lower ones here, these are what the um, filter considers to be like lower quality. Now, as you're leveling, if you start to see like blues that are just not valuable for you anymore, for example, you can just click these off just like this. And now they will no longer show. So now I don't have to worry about blues. So if these are just not strict enough for you in later game, do the same thing with greens and yellow, as far up as you want to go, you can do that. So that's a really easy way to make this loot filter stricter as you go. Um, okay, the other thing that, I, oh, what's this? Oh yeah, if you wanna see um, all items with a class, well, that's a class specific tier five? Wow, that's really high. Th this will allow you to get like class specific affixes though. I'm, I'm surprised it's a tier five. Anyway, uh, if you can put that on for your class specific stuff. I'd actually personally, I'd go in here and I'd like turn that down. Not to, not to like one for, for breaking down stuff or two, but either way. Um, you can turn that on. And then the other thing to look at as you're leveling, if you start to make this stricter, let's just turn all these off. Cause if you had to do all these, it's an absolute pain in the ass. But once you get to like really high levels, one way to make it stricter easily is just go in here, go into these ones and look at the subtypes and turn off ones you don't care about. Like right now I am seeing every freaking um, subtype in sentinel but i may not want them all i may just want like like this one this one that one not that one not that one not that one i'll keep that one on so that's another way to actually add strictness to it just make it so that you're only seeing certain subtypes um if you do the strict one like when you go back in here and there's a strict option it'll do that for you but it'll be really strict like if you go in here and you pick that one it'll be really really strict this is a way for you to make it stricter without getting too strict and you can do it later game and not worry about it early game. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility. So that's really all that I would suggest you need to do or would even want to consider doing is like turning off some of these earlier rules as you get higher and those drops are no longer that valuable. And then when you do get really high up there and the base type starts to matter more to you, you just go into some of these higher level rules and you change out the subtypes to what you want. You just de-click the ones you don't want. That should be about all you really would need to do with this filter for 90% of players to make it work for you. To make it strict enough for you at late end game. Everything else, like it's a pretty good filter, like baseline. Uh, Dammit did a really good job on Dammit's the creator velocity block tools. Having this uh, is just so much nicer than not having anything like this before. Like it just made a huge difference for making filters. So I hope this helps you out. It makes it a lot easier for you to do your own loot filters. 
Um, and once you've learned how to do this, like it's very, very quick to make additional loot filters for every build you make. It'll save you a ton of time. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch us make these videos and builds and all that kind of stuff, uh, we do do that on Twitch. We hang out a lot, lots of people in the community that do actually help, even though they're probably trolling me right now in chat. But uh, when they're not trolling me, they're helping me with my builds and with pretty much everything we work on here. We'd love to have you there. We also have a Discord where you feel free to join us. You'll probably be welcomed by some creepy people like uh, like Zolak or Zakar, but they mean well, I promise. They're really nice people. Uh, please don't be scared by them. Um, but uh, I hope this uh, guide really helps you out a lot. I hope to see you around more often, um, both in YouTube and Discord and Twitch and all that great stuff. I'm really glad you're a part of the LA community. It's always uh, great to see this community continue to grow and um, continue to add more cool people okay i'm gonna end this because i'm getting really weird uh thanks again enjoy your time in le and i'll see you all again real soon